So it looks like my Daphne uh, videos are becoming a bit more popular. So you've seen I've recently uploaded one showing you how to get the control system sorted out for you. So this time I'm going to show you how to actually put the Daphne ROMs on to the, your retro pie, your emulation station, your arcaded mod up, modded one up, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So first thing we need to do is make sure you've got the emulator set up correctly. So we're going to go into a quick, a quick demonstration how to do that. So we're going to go into retro pie settings. And then we're going to go down to RetroPie Setup. I'll just give that a second to load up there. We're going to manage the packages, so let's go down to P. And this is in the optional packages. So we're going to click OK on the optional packages. And down here somewhere, there's something called Daphne. There we are. You can see I've, I've already installed it on this one, but we're going to install it again or update it. So if you press the OK button on that, and it'll ask you if you want to install from source or install from binary, whichever one you want to do, but I'm going to go and reinstall it from the pre-built pre binary. And when you click that button, it'll uh, everything will be hunky-dory. So if you, let, if you open it up and install it, and let it install, and we'll come back when it's done. That was quite quick and uh, quick and painless there. So when that's done, if you go back and you start putting your ROMs wherever you've got them from, I'm not going to tell you where to get them from because, again, Google is your friend. Uh, when you start putting your ROMs into your directory on your uh, SD card, you will see that in here you will have uh, your Daphne screen on there. Sit tight. We're going to go over to the desktop now, and I'm going to show you how to get ROMs onto your Daphne system. Before we get into uploading documents for you guys, there is something I need to go through with you first of all. Now, the Daphne emulator on Emulation Station, RetroPie, whatever you call it, is a fantastic emulator, but it does have compatibility issues with some of the games, and to be able to put the ROMs onto the machine, you can put them on, but they might not load. Now, the way to find out which ones are okay and which ones aren't is if you go to this link here, and I'll put the link in the description, it's retropie.org.uk forward slash docs forward slash Daphne, and I'll, again, I'll put that in the description. About halfway down, you get a Daphne compatibility list. Now, if you click this, this then loads up the current compatible games with Daphne. If you see this, when it finishes loading up, hang on. When you see this, it gives you the game type. Uh, it gives you a description of the game. And it tells you whether it's working or not. Now, as you go down this, you'll see that uh, Space Ace is working, uh, Astron Belt is working, Cliffhanger's working, Cobra Command is, Dragon's Lair, etc., etc., all the way down. Uh, and it'll tell you things like, uh, Road Blaster doesn't work. Now, I tried for ages to get Road Blaster to work before I even had a look at this, and unfortunately, obviously, it doesn't. So, if you go down this, you'll see the list of games that are working. So, don't bother trying the other ones just yet because they don't work with this version of Daphne. So, now we're aware of that, I'm now going to show you how to put the Daphne ROMs onto your RetroPie. So, here we are, guys. We're over at the old friendly PC again, and it's not as hard as you think it is to do this, it's just knowing where to put. The files into which section so first of all you need to get into your retro pie so you do that by opening up a, uh, a explorer typing in backslash backslash retro pie it'll pitch up this screen here and this means that you are now attached to your raspberry pi so you need to open up your roms no surprise there and go to uh, daphne again no surprise there the only difference is here in here is how you go about uh putting them in the files into the actual uh folders in here so i've downloaded some daphne files here so we're going to open it up and drag it back over here and let's just pick a game let's pick interstellar so what you need to do first of all is you need to put your rom file uh, the rom rom zip file sorry the rom zip file into roms straightforward that's that done then you also have this file as well so it'll be the name of the rom dot daphne and you need to drag that into the root of the ROM file, so, so the Daphne file. So we're going to drag Interstellar across, and depending on how big it is, this is where the bulk of the actual uh, uh, the bulk of the bulk actual size of the file is taken up. So we're just going to drop that in there, and it could take a little bit of time to do, so we're just going to let that do it, and then we'll uh, come back to it in a second. So there we go, that's then transferred over, guys. So you've got the ROM in the ROMs file. 
And you've also got this Interstellar, or the name of the, the, the ROM file, .daphne, in the Daphne root file. Now, one thing you need to check with this, if you open it up, in here, you've got the name of the file, .txt. Now, this is a document that tells the emulator where to find certain files. Now, if it looks like that, that's absolutely fine. That's great, because it's telling you that it's going to be in here. It'll, it'll figure it out, as long as it looks something like this. Now, one of the other ROMs I've got on here, uh, Astron, let's have a look. In here, it actually, when I transferred it over, it had something else written in here. It was trying to point the emulator to a different address on the SD card, and it threw errors. So just bear in mind that every now and again, you need to go in that text file and just double check it. Either says nothing, or if it has an address, then it's got this address here, which is slash home, slash pi, slash retro pi, slash roms, slash Daphne, slash, and then the name of the actual... Uh, file that you've got on there as well it doesn't happen often this is the only one i've got but you know it's always handy to know just in case it doesn't work so we're going to shut this down now and then we're going to go over to the uh over to my arcade one up machine the retro pie machine and see if that's worked so we'll come back over to my arcade one up now we've, we've dragged the roms over into the respective folders where they need to be so we're going to go into to daphne and we're going to see what's going on first of all what i'm going to show you is i'm going to show you what happens if it hasn't been uploaded properly so not like i said earlier where you need to put a certain uh, address into that text file just to see if it works so i've i've purposely made one wrong and i'm going to show you what it looks like so if we're going to cliffhanger which is on there press the button and i'll show you what happens so we're going to load up cliffhanger And we get an error up there it's telling you it can't find the rom cliff dash underscore u1.bin couldn't be found in roms.cliff or in or wherever so it's basically telling you it can't find the required file and if you press the button it just tell you it can't do it so you've got to exit out of there so that's what happens if you get an error message but we're going to load up sorry we're going to load up uh into stellar and see if that works now that should work absolutely fine so here we go you notice i haven't scraped any of these images yet now there is a video coming up where I'm going to show you how to scrape so you get things like like this uh, on your files and it gets a bit of information but we've just literally put these ones on so there's nothing on there just yet but that is coming up subscribe and you'll get to know about that first but we're going to load up Interstellar here we go let's load that up and see what happens I need to change that loading screen as well so it reflects the rest of my uh, my setup Standing by. And there we go. Looks like it's working. So let's put some coins in. We'll let the loading screen finish. Let's put some coins in. Seems to be working. And let's have a game of Interstellar. See how this works. I'm always very impressed by these early 80s laser disc games. So that appears to be working absolutely fine guys using the uh the controls that i set up in a previous video here we go not very good at this game so there you go guys it appears to just be a very simple uh style uh a very simple star wars clone but there you go, it's easy enough to do. There's only certain games you can do it with, like we described earlier on, but uh, that's a good starter for 10. So thanks for watching this, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe for some more videos coming soon. See you later.